What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and OneNote, and we're going to look at the action which is Get Page Content. This action allows you to specify in a notebook, a section, and a page, and then we can get out the content that is on that page, and we can do something with it. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I have a manual trigger because I just want to trigger the flow. I don't need anything else. And then click on New Step. In the connections bar, I can search OneNote, although it is spinning, so it may just be having a little bit of a moment. I might just close that down for speed and let it do the same thing again. OneNote. This is the part of the video where I just need a little bit of elevator music. There we go. Uh, OneNote business, that's the one we want. And then when I scroll down until we find Get Page Content. So we select this, uh, we are asked for three things. So we are asked for the notebook key, the notebook section, and the page ID. So the notebook key is the actual notebook that we're going to be using. So in this instance, I'm going to choose my MCJ notebook. This is looking up a list of notebooks that I have access to that are stored in the cloud. So this doesn't work if you're storing it locally on your machine, if that's even still a thing. Uh, it only works if you're storing it in your OneDrive or in your SharePoint. Next, I need the notebook section. So I need to define which section I am going to look in. In this instance, I'm going to look in my flow section one because I know that's the section that I want. And then I can click on page ID and I do get this happy trails um, page here. So it's, it's looking through the pages that are in that section and allow me to choose that here. Once I've chosen all these, uh, then I'm good to go. So I can click on test and I can perform the trigger action, we'll save and test, we'll run the flow, we'll click done, so I run successfully, it's great, uh, and it's going to output a bunch of stuff, so before I look at the outputs, I'll flick over to my OneNote, and we can see that this is the content that I've got in, happy, in the Happy Trails, so we're in Flow Section 1, we're in the Happy Trails page, and we've got Happy Trails, we've got this is some awesome OneNote content, isn't this such? And then I agree, it's slightly bigger and bolded, uh, and this is the content that we're getting out. So if I go back to my flow and I scroll down, we can see that the output is in the HTML format. So we can see this uh, content here, uh, and then we can see some metadata, like when it was created, for instance. So it was created, oops. Um, so it's created at this time on this, sorry. It's created at this time on this date here. And then we can scroll down a little bit and we can see some of the content. Uh, it's all inside of these, um, these paragraph tags. So we can see the style of it. So, and we can say this is awesome content. Uh, isn't this just? And again, it's like converting it into the ASCII characters because it's in HTML format at the moment. And the content we're getting back is more raw. So it's the raw HTML. And then again, we can see the styling here. We can see this is size 20. We can see the, see the font weight is bold and we can see I agree. So it's getting that content out in HTML format. So it's actually really good format if you want to send an email with this already in because you could just paste this in as the raw HTML into the email and it'll all format neatly. So if you take, um, so say you take meeting notes, use a one note to take your meeting notes for the day um, and then you could point this flower out and say, right, at the end of every um, every meeting, I'm going to send these meeting notes to everyone that was involved. And you could potentially like put in the details and, and create this flow to send this all formatted with all your meeting notes to someone else. I'm not saying that's the best use of it, but it's one use of it. But as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So what do you use this for? Do you use it? Do you find it useful? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button and stay up to date on all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.